Hey guys, Alex out here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Kansas City. Custom hauler trucks on Facebook. Guys, hit that like, subscribe button, follow, share, all that kind of stuff. It helps me out great. Today, we're here with a 2023 Freightliner M2106 bolt conversion. Guys, these are getting more and more popular. Bolt, Brian, Greg, our rep up there, those guys, great customer service. They, they always respond to us quick. Any kind of small, tedious issue we have, those guys handle it great. Bolt is up and coming, uh, and they're gonna be a, a killer in this marketplace. So jump in here, check it out, and see what Bolt has to offer here. Here we go. Guys, this one's a white. We kept it pretty basic, um, pretty fresh. It matches everything. White goes with everything. Black goes with everything. Let's try the white out here. We did a chrome package on it. As always, it's the 22 and a half inch Alcoas wrapped in Michelins on the side of the truck here. Uh, this side, we'll do the passenger side first. Alex, my uh, camera guy here, he's keeping up with me. He does a pretty damn good job of keeping up with me while I get wild. Uh, we'll do the, the passenger side here first. You got a 50 gallon fuel tank here on this side hidden behind uh, their version of tread plate is uh, cut aluminum. They do all the cutting in house and then add all the edging to this. Guys, these are pretty sharp to the touch, but it grabs your foot extremely well. There's no sliding, no sliding in and out, especially days like today where it's still icy, a little wet, so on and so forth. You know, it really sticks, has a lot of, a lot of teeth on there that grab a hold of you. Locking fuel tanks as well on the bolt. Um, both sides they lock, 50 gallons here, 50 gallons over there. <clears throat> Coming around the corner, this is what sets the bolt off from everybody else. It's a completely different bed than the market's ever seen, especially with what they do with the toolboxes. Sure, you might have been able to have a custom box made here or there, but it is not an everyday box like this. So we'll jump in, locking boxes, but guys, they slide out on wings on both sides. Once again, forgive me, I've sprayed the toolboxes out and everything, getting ready for the video. So, uh, <clears throat> slides out both sides just the same. If you decide you want them reversible, they do slide all the way out and you could have them slide in the opposite way. Guys, oil, small air compressors, small bags, whatever it be, can be put up top, easy access. It's about chest height, so you can get to it without bending over. That is a neat piece that the other, the other trucks don't have. Generally, hauler, Laredo, um, even sport chassis, or even some of the other trucks, all of their toolboxes are in the bed. So you gotta crawl in the bed, step up there, then bend over, get in. It's kind of a pain, super unique that it's right here that it slides out. Locks into place and has an exterior lock out here as well. Same big toolbox that is spray lined on the inside, just like the other trucks. This door is a little bit bigger, and I will tell you, this gas spring, you gotta be careful. It will load up and it will hurt you. If you're not careful, it got a lot of pressure on it. They uh, paint match the fender wells on all of their trucks. Um, this one's white. We can get this, uh, the actual um, Rhino line, we can get that in black, white. They've given us multiple color options, or if you wanted it paint matched or have the actual aluminum put on it, we could do that as well. LED lighting all the way around. Up top, we have a, uh, a big backup camera. It, this backup camera is actually one of the notable, notable ones that work well at nighttime. It's got its own light on, and then it also has the work light right above. Guys, that work light lights up everything back here. If you're back here hooking up a trailer, putting tools away, uh, whatever, what have you, even work, using this as a workspace, that, that light up there, that light bar, lights up the whole nighttime just like it was day. Two and five sixteenths ball. Guys, we do uh, put Mount Hensley's to this. Um, the last two or three that we've uh, had leave the facility have had Hensley's. We drill them here in house. The guys here at the shop, they put them in. Uh, works out great for us. Plumb them to the secondary air supply, just like every other uh, truck we run. Um, up here, we do the seven pin for um, uh, some of your more commercial trailers, um, single pin, and then you have the spade 
seven pin like you see on regular bumper pole, fifth wheel or gooseneck style trailers. They go ahead and um, use plumb the glad hands out the back. All of our chassis come with glad hands, guys. Uh, Bolt goes ahead and plums them out the back for us. They do have a hitch system down here. <clears throat> it is made in the USA, steel, sealed and stamped here. Um, when Alex walks around this way, I'll get him to sneak in there and grab the made in the USA thing. 3,500 pound tongue weight, 20,000 pound towing capacity. This thing handles just like the Western Hauler, the Laredo, and uh, longevity of these trucks are, 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 are great. Coming around the corner, you have, uh, well, maybe I didn't get this, but guys, we actually have another in the bed toolbox up here. Um, it's a little harder for me to reach, but that toolbox is even another place that you can put straps and stuff. It's a little harder to get to, but still another option for storage space that the other trucks simply don't have. Coming around the side here, you do have the slide out toolbox on this side, the big toolbox down at the bottom, just as the other side, um, LED lights all the way throughout on this truck as well. Locking fuel tank, and you have your uh, block heater up front. This is a 360 horsepower Cummins truck, Allison 3200 TRV transmission, 1150 foot pounds of torque. Um, this truck does have the LED headlights. We kept the Freightliner factory grills and stuff set up on this one. And the interior, guys, once again, different than what you see from Laredo, Western Hauler, Summit, uh, Sport Chassis, any of those. It's a completely different setup. Let's jump in. Let's take a look at the custom center console that's only from Bolt. All right, guys, here we are inside the Bolt 2023 model, the white one. Um, guys, bolts on the interior, most of them are pretty this, pretty much the same. We changed the leather interior, the color a little bit, but the rest is pretty much the same throughout. Um, these seats are like riding in a lazy boy. It's no joke. Um, Alex, the camera guy, he just jumped in there and said those seats are crazy comfortable. They're heated. Another thing we did is on the rear seats, the both outside seats are heated. All of our trucks, as you know, the rear bench lays down flat, but these back seats, the both the outsides are heated as well. So that's a nice feature. It's all controlled right here in this massive center console, exclusive from Bolt. Guys, all of these cup holders, they all light up blue. You have USB ports. There, 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 and there. Everywhere you've got USB 12 volt plugins here. Also heated, and you've got your, uh, your control that, that operates the back seat. Up front, you have your LED lights for the ceiling. You have a switch there. You also have your stereo button. So if you're a person that doesn't like the subwoofer, I don't know who that would be, but you can shut that off. You also have your uh, USB ports for your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, plugs straight up to the Alpine uh, head unit up front. Guys, this is a rare opportunity to see a truck as well that has rear heating and cooling. You don't get that uh, 24, it is disappearing all the way around. Um, but in a 23, it was very rare. 22s, it's very rare. This one does have it. Rear heat and air right here. <clears throat> we did a black steering wheel on this one. We did the um, carbon fiber wrap dash, grab handles, so on and so forth on the doors, entryway into the doors. Um, so on and so forth. Also have it up here. And then you've got the cut aluminum for the backing in the dash. Really sets it off nice. Gives it that nice, clean, machined, tough look. Guys, these things are super technical. They go all the way trying to keep up with the, the technology in the trucks. Bolt is all about them. If you, have, if you don't know much about them, uh, Bolt Custom Trucks, they're a great company. Those guys do well for us. Um, they also do the Alpine speakers. We're gonna jump into the roof. Generally, the trucks, uh, Western Hall or Laredo, they mount them in the pillars or the doors like you generally see on a car. Bolt took it next level and put lighting and the stereo and extra reading lighting in this centerpiece up here in this truck. Guys, that is that takes crazy amount of ingenuity um, and technology to be able to Assemble all that and make it look as clean as it is. 
The lighting up there is RGB. You know, you can change it to virtually any color, yellow, green, blue, pink, whatever it may be. The stereo system with it being up there in the ceiling, you don't have to have it as loud and banging to be able to hear it with clarity right here because it's directly over you. My opinion, it's one of my favorite things about the truck is that you, with these cabs, if any of you guys have been in a Freightliner, there's just so much noise because they're so big. We do our best to wrap them in surround sound or uh, soundproofing and so on and so forth. But the radio in these things is astronomical. I can't explain it. You'd have to sit in one to hear it, um, to understand. Guys, this truck is currently available. Bolt does a great job with these things. This one is listed at 204-605, I believe. That's 204-605. Um, 816-489-8298 is my cell. 816-489-8298. That'll get you directly to me. Still available. Guys, thanks for watching, checking it out. Be sure to like, subscribe. Um, hit me up with a message. If you got questions, comment, any of it, I'm the one that messages back. Anytime, 816-489-8298. Thanks guys, talk soon.